Logan Corporation manufactures top quality dump truck bodies. Made in America by American workers right here in this facility in Salyersville, Kentucky. The manufacturing of a dump body starts with these bare chassis. They'll be the foundation that the dump body is built on. The raw material that the body itself is made of is sheets of high quality steel or aluminum. These sheets are delivered directly to the manufacturing facility on 18-wheeler trucks. Logan Corp will craft the dump bodies and their components from these sheets of raw material. The first step in the process is to cut the sheets of steel or aluminum to the necessary shapes that will be needed to build the body. The sheets are cut by a state-of-the-art plasma torch on large cutting tables. Lonzo, the plant manager, details the process. So we have two plasma tables. This one is capable of cutting four inch thick steel. We can also cut three sheets of steel. It is a 50 foot table. Uh, it's very precise. All steel comes in as a flat sheet. Uh, we load it onto our plasma table, cut it out, uh, take it over to the press area and form it into the parts it needs to be formed into. Once all of the necessary metal for the body has been cut, some of the pieces must be bent into shape. The bodies are made of steel, aluminum, or a combination of both. This is our aluminum shop. We have a couple different kind of bodies we build here. One is our all aluminum body. Uh, everything on the body is aluminum. Over here we have a hybrid body. It has a steel front and a steel floor, but it has aluminum sides, so you get the light weight of the aluminum body also. Now welders go to work on assembling the body. At the start of the welding process, it's more efficient to weld the body in an upside down position. The body will be turned right side up once the initial welds have been made. While the body is being assembled and welded, a team of workers gets the chassis ready for the body. The team will cut the chassis to the proper length and install the hydraulics that lift the body. When the final welds are done and the body has been assembled, it's time to get the body ready for painting. The entire surface of the body needs to be a clean and smooth surface so that a high quality paint can adhere to it. So this body has already been welded and it is prepped to go through our wheelabrator, which is a shop blast machine that is going to take all the factory primer, oils, all the dirty product off of this body and have it ready for paint to adhere to. The wheel abrader gets the body clean by pelting it with lead shot. A worker uses compressed air to dust off any remaining lead shot. Now the body is ideally prepared for one of the processes that Logan Corp takes the most pride in. We just came from the Willabrader, uh, got the bodies ready to paint. This is actually our paint booth. We pull the bodies in, prime them, and then they're ready for the top coat. After the paint process, there are just a few finishing touches that the body needs before installation on its truck chest. This body has already went through the paint booth and is dry and now we're going to upfit it with a tarp system, lights, high lift cylinders and get it ready for the truck.
With the body painted and its finishing touches added, it can be installed on the chassis and become the latest in a fleet of dump trucks that are equal parts rugged, reliable, and good looking. Ready for years of reliable service in industries like mining, construction, or state road maintenance. Logan Corporation dump bodies are made with pride, made in America, and made to last.